Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the crossover stitch. Some people call crossover block stitch and some people call cable stitch. It depends on how you wanna call it and I'm just gonna call crossover stitch. This stitch is super easy to make and is reversible. And it's perfect for scarf, blanket, top, cardigan, and many more. Alright, this is Lamb Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. But this one I'm gonna use different color but same brand because I think the solid color is easier to see. And I use 5mm crochet hook. You can use any hook and any yarn you prefer just to practice this stitch. And if you would like the written instruction and photo tutorials, it's available on our blog at knitcrawedit.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Alright, let's get started. The crossover stitch is in a multiple of 4 plus 3 chains. So you're gonna make a group of 4 chains, 4 chains, 4 chains, 4 chains, 4 chains chain, until you're happy with the length. And at the end, you're gonna add 3 more chains. Alright? So for me, I'm gonna make 23 chains. So first, make slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 23 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. Now I have twenty-three chains. And row one, I'm gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So we skip the first chain, insert the hook into the next chain. I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is a single crochet. And then we're going to make one single crochet into each chain across. Next chain here, make a single crochet. Single crochet into next chain. Single crochet into next chain. Alright, keep repeating this across. I'm at the end of row 1 and I have 22 stitches across. For row 2, we're gonna chain 3 and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the first 3 chains always count as one double crochet. And then we're gonna skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into each of next 3 stitches. I yarn over my hook, I skip the next stitch and then insert the hook into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skipped earlier. Just work over those three double crochet. So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into that stitch that we skip, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I just gonna do like I make a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here's what it looks like. And then we're gonna repeat this. So I gonna skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. I yarn over hook, I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next and make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next. And then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip right here. A yarn over hook, insert the hook back into that stitch that we skip and then yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Like that. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. 
skip this one, insert the hook into this one. And then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip right here. I forget to tell you this part, be careful you don't do it too tight. Make sure you pull up like this, okay? And then make a double crochet. And then we're gonna keep repeating this until we have one stitch left. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then make double crochet into each of next three stitches. And then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip. Okay, make sure it's pull up a little bit, not too tight, and then make a double crochet. And then repeat, skip the next stitch, and then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. And then make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip. And then pull it up. And then make a double crochet. Like that. And then I have one stitch left here. I'm gonna make one double crochet into the last stitch. Here's what it looks like. And then row three, we chain one and turn. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across. And for the last stitch, make into the third chain because the first three chains is count as one double crochet. All right. This pattern is two rows repeat, which is row two and row three. And from now on, you're just gonna keep repeating row two and row three over and over. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit on row four. Row 4, we repeat row 2, which is the crossover stitch row. So we chain 3 and turn. And the first 3 chains count as 1 double crochet. And then we skip the next stitch and make 1 double crochet into each of next 3 stitches. I yarn over my hook, I skip the next, insert the hook into the next, and make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next, and double crochet into the next, and then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip right here. A yarn over hook, insert the hook into that stitch that we skip, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and then pull up, make sure it's not tight, okay? And then make a double crochet like that. We skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. And then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch that we skip. And pull it up, make sure it's not tight, and then make a double crochet. Like that, very easy. All right, 
just keep repeating row 2 and row 3 over and over. And if you keep going, it'll look something like this. And like I said, this stitch can be used for many things. And I would love to know what you're going to make out of this stitch. Please comment below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video. And I hope you enjoy making this beautiful crossover stitch. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.